Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscri subscriber question and the question in question is Frederick, can Firebase be used as a backend for a desktop application? So let's get into it. Well, yes, it can. And let me explain a little bit. The question here kind of entails that there is this idea that there's some type of difference between a desktop application and a web application when it comes to network communication. And that's the thing that I think we need to touch on a little bit here. There is a difference, but let me ex just kind of walk you through the idea of this. So guys, a, a thing that you may or may not know is that when you go to the web the, and you actually visit the browser, you probably know that the web page that you see is coming from the server. In other words, the first thing you get when you go to a URL somewhere on the internet is a HTML page that contains information that allows the browser to grab all the content and all the files that are related to the thing that you're going to see. So in other words, the server is responsible for showing you the UI first and when you have seen the UI, it's most likely going to make some other calls or so you might have some JavaScript on the page that makes some Ajax calls, get some JSON, like all of this story, sort of stuff. Now, all of this is possible through something like Firebase. It doesn't have to be Firebase, but just any server, because remember, all Firebase really is, is a platform where a, another company has already taken the time to set a lot of this stuff, this, you know, set stuff up for you so you don't have to do everything from scratch. That's what it is. So you can serve up a web page from Firebase. And if you think about a mobile application or even a desktop application, what's the main difference here? Well, the main difference is that you need to install this application onto your machine. So if it's your desktop, it's going to be a desktop application. If it's your mobile, your phone, it's going to be just another, you know, what we call them apps. Everything is an app technically, but that's the difference. Now, the reason why you have to do that is because we don't really have, or rather, you, we, the, the way that it works is that instead of the server serving up an HTML page, you're like sending you the UI on your first request, you simply download the application in of itself. You download the UI, if you will, by just, you know, from some, some source. Now, once that is on your phone, you have already gone through the first step that a, you know, a web page ha puts you through. It's just that now you have it, you have already done it, you know, you've done the upfront work. You now have the application on your phone and now it can actually go to the network as any other application and just get you the data that you need or perform the operations that you need. And it doesn't really matter if it's a sir if it's a web application a desktop application or a web like an, an app on your phone it works the same way because and that's the the whole idea of the network you can it's completely agnostic to the platform and that's why I, what i want you to kind of wrap your head around here there is no diff the, the only difference from when it comes to this client to server interaction in this case firebase between a desktop desktop application a mobile application and a web application is that the web sends you the UI before you actually see something and then it starts talking to the backend or to the or to the server while the other applications simply for, for simply have you download that uh, download the UI or the actual application before you actually start talking to the network and that's pretty much it so what I want you to take away from this is that you can absolutely use Firebase for a desktop application, just as you can use it for a mobile application or a web application. You can, and this is true for all server to client communication. The desktop application is simply an application where you go to some web page somewhere or you download it, you install the application onto your computer. Usually these things happen because it's so heavy, like it's a heavy application of some sort. It's something that was designed to run on, well, requires more from your computer. So it's not feasible to make it a web application all the time. Sometimes it is, it might be just a design decision, but that's the basic idea. That's the only difference. It's just that you have to go through another sort, another sequence of steps. But once you have the thing on your computer, 
everything works pretty much the same way as it works on the web. Have a great day.